SpaceX has won its first contract with the United States Space Force for their new Starshield satellite system. This is a major achievement for SpaceX, and it's also a smart move for the US military and its partners. So, why is this new contract important, and what does it mean for the future of space exploration? Let's dive into the details. SpaceX is a major player in the rapidly evolving field of commercial space exploration. This company is known for regularly grabbing the headlines, and it's done it again with some exciting news. They've landed their first ever contract with the US Space Force, which is worth $70 million and lasts for a year. This contract is all about providing special satellite communications to the military as part of their new Starshield program. SpaceX is also competing with 15 other companies, including Viasat Incorporated, for a piece of the $900 million pie in work orders until 2028. This is part of the Space Force's proliferated Low Earth Orbit Contracts program, which deals with communication services from satellites that orbit Earth between 100 to 1,000 miles up. In fact, SpaceX has been involved in national security missions for a while now. It started in 2018, when they launched a GPS satellite for the US Air Force. Then, after the creation of the Space Force in December 2019, they received $149 million to develop satellites for tracking missiles. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets are also frequently used to deploy military satellites for both international clients and classified US government projects. And sometimes, they even call up the heavy-duty Falcon Heavy rocket to get the job done. So. SpaceX teaming up with and benefiting from the US military is nothing new. It's been happening for a while. And if you're wondering what the Starshield program is all about, here's a hint. Starshield is a new project by SpaceX designed to offer customized satellite communications for the military and other government agencies. It utilizes SpaceX's Starlink technology and launch capabilities, but comes with extra features that enhance security and enable hosting classified payloads. These Starshield satellites can communicate with other satellites through laser communication terminals, which can extend their reach and capabilities. So the main goal of the Starshield program is to support national security efforts and provide a strategic advantage to the US military and its allies. While there's not a ton of information available about Starshield, SpaceX has shared some key details about the project. For example, it'll use the same broadband technology found in the company's Starlink satellite constellation but will be tailored for government purposes, especially for the US military and its related agencies. SpaceX even has an official website dedicated to the project. But what exactly will Starshield offer? This new contract provides end-to-end -end service through the Starlink constellation, user terminals, additional equipment, network management, and other related services. In simpler terms, it's a comprehensive package to ensure effective satellite communications. Starshield has its focus on three main areas, Earth observation, communications, and hosting missions with the most demanding customer payloads. That third aspect is quite versatile, allowing it to handle various instruments and mission types. So Starshield is all about making sure military and government communications and missions are top-notch. On the other hand, Starlink, which is SpaceX's satellite network, is primarily used for high-speed internet access in places that are remote, at sea, or lack regular internet infrastructure. It has been widely used by the Ukrainian government and military during Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The US Air Force even tested Starlink for military purposes back in 2020, during a significant exercise that used satellites to establish communication links between military assets across the US to help shoot down a drone and a cruise missile. Now, you might wonder why the US is pursuing the Starshield project if they've already tested Starlink for military use. The key difference between Starlink and Starshield is their purpose. Starlink is meant for consumer and commercial use, often broadband internet access to most of the world. In contrast, Starshield is tailored for government use, with a focus on supporting national security and delivering customized satellite communications for the military and other government agencies. One critical distinction is in security. Starshield is built with extra high security features, including advanced encryption for hosting classified payloads and securely processing data. It meets the strictest government requirements. While Starlink also uses encryption, it might not be up to the task for highly sensitive military operations. So, Starshield is designed to meet the specific and rigorous needs and expectations of the US military and its allies. 
the Starshield satellites are also going to communicate with the existing Starlink satellites that orbit between 100 miles and 1,000 miles above the Earth using laser communication systems. The connection has the potential to extend the range and capabilities of Starshield as both SpaceX and the Pentagon work on developing this new military-focused satellite network. SpaceX has already launched over 5,000 Starlink satellites, with more than 4,000 of them still in action. They've even applied to launch nearly 30,000 additional satellites in the future. So, what does all of this mean for the US defense? This contract is a big deal because it's going to provide a better satellite system for the US military and its allies. It's all about making our national security and defense more secure, flexible, and capable. Starshield is going to support different missions and regions with customized satellite communications. One big deal is that it'll make US space assets more robust and resilient to take down by enemies. Starshield uses a bunch of low Earth orbit satellites, which makes them less vulnerable to attacks. It also helps make different US space systems work together, as Starshield can talk to other satellites with laser communication technology, including those from other government agencies. Plus, it's cost-effective and smart. Starshield uses SpaceX's reliable and reusable Starlink tech and launch abilities, which are known for being innovative and saving money. So it's a win-win for the US defense and space exploration. This new contract is also a big deal for SpaceX and its Starshield project. It's a major milestone because it's the first confirmed contract for Starshield, a project that uses SpaceX's Starlink technology and launch capability to support national defense efforts. And it's not just a milestone, it's also a potential source of revenue for SpaceX. The contract is worth $70 million and could lead to more orders from the US Space Force and other customers in the future. This extra income could help SpaceX fund its Starlink project, which has been costly and is burning through $20 million per month to provide services in Ukraine during the war. The contract also gives SpaceX a competitive edge. It shows that the company can offer a wide range of services and payloads for different missions and places, using its reusable rockets and smart satellites. This could attract more customers and partners, both from the commercial and government sectors. However, there's a downside too. This military contract might bring more public and media scrutiny and criticism to SpaceX. Starshield deals with national security and defense, topics that can be controversial and sensitive. SpaceX might face questions and challenges related to the ethical, legal, and environmental aspects of its Starshield activities. People might worry about the potential for weaponizing space, violating international agreements, creating space debris, or interfering with astronomy. These are important concerns that SpaceX will need to address as they move forward with their projects. Also, SpaceX's involvement in the Starshield project comes with another trade-off which is the project placing some limitation on SpaceX's flexibility and autonomy. Some experts suggest that while their project offers opportunities and financial benefits, it also entails limitations and a degree of government control. Being part of a project with national security implications like Starshield means SpaceX has to follow strict regulations and be subject to oversight from the US government and its allies. This includes obtaining licenses, approvals, and clearances from various agencies and authorities, such as the Federal Communications Commission and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Department of Defense, the Space Force, and others. Additionally, SpaceX will be bound by the policies and interests of the US government, and these policies may not always align perfectly with SpaceX's own vision and goals. So, while SpaceX gains advantages from working on projects like Starshield, it also sacrifices some flexibility and autonomy in exchange for the added scrutiny and alignment with government interests, which can sometimes pose challenges and constraints on their operations. What's your take on this Space Age initiative? Let's know in the comments section.